Slicer is a good program for making your G-code files, but it's not the only one. In this video and the next one, I will tell you about two alternative slicers. Their names are Cura and Kisslicer. Experiment with them and discover what works best for you. I'd also recommend reading the article by Rich Rap in the first issue of Rap Rap Magazine. The first alternative is Cura, open source software paid for and maintained by Ultimaker. It's very user friendly and fast. Working with it is as easy as loading it. It will automatically slice the model in a couple of seconds. The expected print time and used material are displayed. And if you insert an SD card, you can just save the G code to it. You can place the object anywhere you want, as well as rotating, scaling, and multiplying it. From the view settings, you can also see the G code paths. The amount of settings is reduced to the bare basics. The shell thickness is what is called perimeters in Slicer. A shell thickness of 0.8 will make two perimeters of 0.4 millimeters, and 1.2 millimeter shell thickness will make three. You can set the general speed and the temperatures. As in Slicer, in the advanced and expert panel, you have more control over settings, as well as the machine settings. Our preferred settings for the i3 Berlin can be downloaded from the GitHub. Look for the installation folder and overwrite the preferences and current profile.ini. In the downloads, you can also find an excellent user manual for Cura. Everything you change in the settings will override your previous settings. You can organize your profiles by saving them as .ini files. Another cool feature is that you can load settings from a G-code file. This only works with G-code files generated with Cura. Cura is excellent for multi-material printing, which works like this. Create a 3D model that consists of two STL files. One is for the first material, the other for the second material. Import both STLs into Cura. Right-click on one of the objects and select Dual Extrusion Merge. The objects are now joined and sliced. From the preferences, you can see which color is assigned to which extruder. Interesting features for dual extrusion are the wipe tower and the ooze shield. The wipe tower is an extra pillar shape for clearing the nozzle before it starts printing. The ooze shield is a thin wall built around the object to catch the plastic that's oozing from the non-active extruder. The ooze shield is peeled off later. To summarize, Cura is fast and user-friendly and the best option for dual printing. The downside of Cura is that you cannot manage your profiles as well. The G-code it generates is good, but not the best. A better G-code generator is Kisslicer, which I will introduce in the next video.